Good morning and welcome back to Build Your Best Life with Deborah D. Smith. Earlier this week, I had a segment talking about work ethics, but I did a deep dive into why the time that you put in on your job, being on time, being in place, why that matters in establishing good work ethics. Today, I'm going to dive into the integrity piece of your work ethics. As I've said before, it takes one second to ruin a reputation, while it takes blood, sweat, tears, and years to build or rebuild a good one. So if you have established a good reputation on your job, you don't want to jeopardize that or if you're new starting out, you want your employer to feel like that you are a person of integrity and you are a person that can be trusted. And this play comes into play in a lot of different areas on your job. First of all, are you dependable? <clears throat> can your employer depend on you coming to work and putting in a reasonable day's job? Can they depend on you to come to work and not call in every Monday? Every Monday you're sick. Every month someone in your family, immediate family dies. Every two to three months, a grandmother has died and they're wondering, why does that person have so many grandmothers? Oh, well my parents remarried. Are you dependable? Can you be trusted? Can you be given a project to work on knowing that the deadline is October the 28th and your employee employer <clears throat> can give it to you knowing that you are an employee that will work on the project, get it done with quality work, and get it done by or before the deadline. If it's impossible, you will get with them and explain why. Are you a person of integrity? If you are a person of integrity, please, by all means, do what you need to do to build your best life and keep that integrity. You don't worry about your peers, your boss, because your boss may not have good integrity, or they may not be someone that has your best interests at heart. It could be someone under you. You have, may have people reporting to you. But you are your own person. You want to be responsible for yourself. It's up to you to build your best life. So whatever you have to do to show that you are a person of integrity, you need to do it. It's all a part of having good work ethics. On my job, I moved up quite a bit. I only had, I worked in my former company for 41 years and only once did I apply for a position. All the other positions, I was just moved up. That was because I had people in my past, I had mentors, my mother, teachers, that instilled in me, you always do a good job whatever you're doing. So I always worked hard. I was raised, you got a job, get up and get there on time. So I was always on time, did what I was supposed to do. If I had questions, I asked those questions. So I act, act, actually just moved up, continues, continued to move up and end up in um, as a senior director at my company. So and you're not going to start day one with all the experience in the world, but you have to show people what you're made of, what qualities you have. It's up to you. So again, the work that you do, you want it to have good quality. You want them to know that you can be trusted. While you're supposed to doing, be uh, <laughs> performing your work, you're not uh, going in the stock room, seeing how many uh, boxes of paper clips you can get or how many pads of paper or how many copies you can go and, go and make. You're doing your work. You're getting your work done. Not to say that you don't need some downtime. You're going to have some time that you need to stop by someone's desk and just, you know, let it out for a minute or 
take a walk around your floor or do something. I'm not saying you got to stay at your desk and you're just going at it all day long. I'm not saying that. But you do want to put in a good day's work. You want your boss to know that you're dependable. You want them to know that you are a truthful person. You don't just call in, I'm sick. So when you call in, I'm, I'm not, I'm sick today. I'm not going to be able to come in. Then they can be more empathetic with you. They, they're okay. If, if that person is calling in, I know that something's going on with them because they don't just call in every Monday. And that's the type of employee you want to be. You want to work on those good work ethics. So we got our time down. We're going to be in place to do what we need to do. And we're going to be a person of integrity. We're going to do a good job while we're there and getting what we need to get done on a timely basis, putting in good quality work. We're not just trying to get pieces out or get something done by a deadline, but what we are producing is an excellent product. It is what we were asked to do, and we've done it, and we've done it timely. You still have to think. So if you're told to stack 10 boxes 20 high and you know that that's literally impossible then you go and you say something ahead of time you know I, I sat down I've looked over the instructions that I was given is this correct I'm not trying to you know second guess you but um, based on what I'm my analysis of this this is not gonna work Oh, I transpose my numbers. It's supposed to be 10 boxes high. So you ask your questions up front. Again, I know this is not one of those, you know, that's, I could, couldn't wait to find out how to be a good employee. But years from now, hopefully you'll remember this and you say, I'm glad I heard that. I'm glad I, I stuck to it because it has really helped me as I went through the years trying to build my best life. Thank you. I hope this segment helped you. And please, please share, comment. If there are any other aspects of work ethics uh, that you would like to hear about. If you missed the one on Monday that was about being timely, today is about integrity. And then uh, a last tidbit will be given on fri uh, Friday unless I get comments about other areas uh, that you want to hear about. So please comment, share, and please tune in on Friday. Thank you for tuning in to Build Your Best Life with Deborah D. Smith, and I look forward to other segments with you. Have a wonderful day.